Well, for Wells Fargo, our biggest opportunity is to continue the build out of our international business, which means we're planning to be in about 25 countries in total within the next three to five years. So the challenge that creates for us is, the, is to try to navigate through the regulatory regimes of some 20 different countries while we establish banks or branches or other physical presence in those locations. First, let's start with two principles. Fundamentally, the global economy is suffering from a lack of confidence. And you see it every day with what's happening today in Europe, but it transcends Europe. It comes back home to North America, and particularly the Canadian economy, as a lack of confidence. So we have to fix the confidence level first. Second key component, we must ensure that we continue on trade front, that we do not resort to protectionism. For Canada, Canada is a very strong trading nation. We depend on trade. Whether it's in finished goods or in the resource sector, we depend on a healthy global economy and we will continue to look at trade as a way to have a strong Canadian economy. And the same goes for this great country. Well, I think the most pressing challenge is to restore private sector investment and growth and in particular deal with employment. But I think long-term unemployment is a very serious matter. Youth unemployment is a huge crisis in many countries. So as a global challenge, I would say it's private sector investment leading to growth and, and, and job opportunities. Now for Deloitte, it's a bit of a different matter. We, we are hiring people all over the world and our biggest challenge is finding talent, finding young people who are well prepared to enter professional life. And we're constantly looking for them, recruiting, and it's a big, big issue and we see it getting more and more difficult with time. Definitely would be the financial crisis, the economic growth and the job creation. And these issues can be addressed by focusing on six items. Basically it would be the strengthening of the financial system, regulations and the economic growth, which we need to go more into the green growth, fighting corruption and also do something regarding the volatility of commodity prices. The largest opportunity is clearly the digital economy. As we enter into the digital age, that's going to help us fuel innovation and help us drive with innovation the economic, economical growth and overcome some of the challenges we see with demographics, health, budget deficits, etc. We need a transformational change and that can come from a digital um, economy challenge I think is around protectionists. I think the biggest challenges that we face is making sure that we can take the opportunities that exist and capitalize on them. So whether it's opportunities of what technology can do to enhance people's lives, to create greater economic growth, to help promote jobs, or what we can do in terms of new business models that are supported by technology, those are the, the opportunities that we see and the challenges are overcoming some of the impediments that might prevent us from getting there.